You know, I've thought long and hard today about how best to respond to the accusations that have been made about me by GPW recently in an online blog. And originally I was just going to put out a short press release, but I think having read the third part of the blog that's gone up online today, I think the best thing to do to defend myself is to put the thoughts on video and do them as Greg Lambert, not Greg the Truth Lambert, but actually do them as, as me, the XWA promoter, not in character, which isn't something I normally like to do, but here goes. GPW have basically accused me of not pulling my weight when it comes to promoting the Northwest Weekender that we held in June. They've said that I didn't do enough to promote it. Now, I, I, first of all, I completely refute that allegation. I, I did plenty to promote it. But, you know, I, I don't... The, the problem that I have with what they've done is the fact that during the run-up to the Northwest Weekender, not once did anybody from GPW management get in touch with me and tell me they had a problem with anything that I either was or wasn't doing. It was only when I, when I went online after the XWA show on the Saturday night and saw that Jiggy Walker had made a, a pretty nasty comment about XWA on Facebook, which I thought was a bit unprofessional to be honest with you, but it was only then that I realised that there was any kind of problem and I immediately got on the phone to Johnny Brannigan, the, the promoter of GPW, and asked him what the issue was and he told me and I gave him my side of the story and, and that was the end of it as far as I'm concerned. I'm not going to go into any more detail than that. I don't believe that that conversation should be anything other than private. But suffice to say, I thought that was the end of the matter and we were going to move on and we were going to work together again and on, on the next Northwest Weekender, which is, oh, that's this weekend by the way, Friday night, you know, in Wigan, GPW, Friday night thriller. Saturday night, XWA last fight at the Prom at the Carlton in Morecambe, Sunday night, Future Shock at the Stockport Masonic Guildhall. Get yourself down there. Three consecutive nights of great wrestling in the northwest of England. Sorry. Anyway, um, so yeah, when, when the blog appeared online, I was a bit shocked, to say the least. I, I, didn't, I don't believe in airing dirty laundry in public. It's not my style to get involved in sleaze and scandal in British wrestling, unlike other wrestling promotions. I don't pride myself in 25 page threads appearing on the UK fan forum about all the things that I've done wrong behind the scenes. I, I try and steer clear of that. So, you know, I understand why they've done it, okay? I, I understand that, you know, Johnny, Jiggy, they, they, they probably just think they need to sell a few tickets, they want to stir the pot, they want to be controversial, they want to expose the business, they want to do all of that to create a bit of interest and, and that's fine. I just didn't like, I didn't appreciate them doing it without checking with me. I didn't appreciate them casting aspersions about my professionalism, I didn't like them exaggerating what happened, and even one or two things that, that just weren't correct. I mean, he says that I didn't come to their show on the Friday night. Well, I went to Preston City Wrestling because I was booked for Preston City Wrestling. And I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to go into, into too much more than that, other than I think it's a bit rich for GPW to complain that I don't go to their shows when... I can't remember the last time that Johnny or Jiggy came to an XWA show when they weren't booked. And I've been to GPW shows, whether I was booked or whether I was as a fan or as a journalist, since 2003. I've, I've always been a big fan of GPW. I support what they do. And another thing, I always pay. I always buy a ticket when I go to GPW. There's only one occasion where I haven't done that in about seven or eight times when I've been as a fan. And they may not be aware of this. Well, I, I told Johnny when I rang him, but you know, I always pay. And I believe that's the right thing to do. I mean, who am I to assume? I mean, I know wrestling promoters work hard to sell tickets and promote shows. So who am I, even though I'm part of British wrestling, who am I to assume that I should get in for free? You know, so I, I just find it a bit rich what's been said. But, you know, I don't hold any grudges. I don't... You know, I've, I've rung Johnny today again, and, and as far as I'm concerned, again, we're going to put the issue behind us. He's agreed not to put any more of this stuff online. I've agreed again to try and do my best to promote the Northwest Weekenders like I've always done, and hopefully we can move forward. And I've also said to him, I've made it quite clear that anybody from GPW is welcome to come to our shows at any time, as long as they pay for a ticket, because I think that's the right thing to do. So... You know, thank you for letting me have this opportunity to get this off my chest and uh, I hope to see you this Saturday night at XWA Last Fight at the Prom.